So we just got home. Malachi, what is that? It's a goat. It's a goat. <laughs> the kiddos and I went uh, to get, uh, well, to hang out with some family. We had cousins' birthdays um, that we were celebrating. And we just got home pretty late at night. And while we were gone this afternoon, Justin picked up a goat from a local person. So we now have a female Nigerian dwarf. To go with our male. Yes, to go with Astro. Now, granted, she won't be with Astro for a while, which is why we have her in this pen up front. But we are super excited to, uh, to have a girl because this has been three and a half years in the making. Actually, mm -hmm. a little more. Because we were planning on getting a, a female goat, um, but then we found out that same month that we were planning on getting one, we found out we were pregnant with Malachi. So we said, oh, we'll wait a little bit because we have our hands kind of full. Because we were both first time parents and yeah, it was a lot of changes all at once. And so now we'll have a little girl that um, hopefully when she gets older, she'll be able to hang out with astro and maybe we'll have some goat babies eventually now i don't know that i'm going to milk her um if i did the main reason would be to try my hand at some goat milk soap because i love goat milk milk soap but um i don't have neither of us have the time to be able to do a daily milking um, but i do have a wonderful source for goat milk soap and that's Blessed Bath Products. That's a friend of mine and she's in Arkansas and she makes um, a really excellent line of soaps. She has a limited number of scents, but um, that just means that she has tweaked and perfected um, to make them really great. Uh, and a, it's just a great line of product. I love them. And when we go to the Shindig, in early April, we will hopefully stop by my friend's place and pick up a bunch more soap. So, anyway, that's the fun on the homestead. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. God bless.